Medical Monday, and we are joined by Dr. Kathy Slusher. A lot of people, we're going to talk about abnormal bleeding today, and a lot of people, I think it's ingrained in us. You see blood, emergency. emergency exactly. But that's not always the case. No, and what we're here today is to tone down that level of emergency because anytime you can take it to your provider, to your own doctor, or if you're, they're a family practitioner and they want to refer you to your gynecologist or whatever, mm -hmm. you're so much better off because what you need to remember is it's not just treating the blood you see. Right. It's the plan and then the long-term follow-up and getting to the root of the problem and taking mm -hmm. care of it. So it's really, really important. Starting in the emergency room is not the place to start. But let's, let's put that in context. What is a true emergency that warrants getting out and going and making it there to get something acutely done? Well, if you're bleeding heavily a pad an hour for several hours, you need to go. Okay. Because something needs to be done acutely, and then you can take it up in the doctor's office later. But if you're bleeding when you don't expect to be bleeding, mm -hmm. and it's like a period or less or spotting, or if you've been postmenopausal for 10 years and all of a sudden you see a little blood or even as much as a period, or if you're in the first trimester of pregnancy and you start spotting or seeing blood, those are not reasons to go to the emergency room because basically you're going to be taking a lot of time out of your schedule that you didn't need to because nothing right. can really happen there. What needs to happen is somebody who can manage that problem and take a long-term approach to it. But even more importantly than that, what can you do? Because you're freaking out now. Right, well, first right. of all is get rid of the panic. Mm -hmm. Second of all is lay down and rest because rather than running around various places and rushing into places and sitting in waiting rooms and all of this kind of stuff, you're so much better off if you just lay down Put your feet up. Drink lots of water because you want to restore any volume that you're losing. Okay. And something that I want to tell folks just to kind of take that edge off is whatever you see in blood, 30% or less is actual blood. The rest is uterine lining or serous type of a fluid, which is just like um, a, a drainage that you would get when you scrape yourself. Okay. But actual blood volume is 30% or less. So everything that you see that makes you want to panic is not coming from your veins. You're not going to lose your volume. But one of the things you can do to restore some of that is to take in lots of extra water and stay well, well hydrated. So don't panic. Everything you see is not actual blood volume. Volume. Calm down and lay Even down. It's all the red color. It will right. look because anything. Much like blood. Think about it. You know, when you put a drop of, of blood into a, a little puddle of water, it all turns red. Right. So it gives you that appearance. And of course, bright red blood single, signals new bleeding. Dark mm -hmm. blood, older blood, brown blood, things like that, that's an old event. And you're passing something from the old event. So you're not even acutely bleeding at that point. If you see something that's maroon or brownish, it's old. So you're not actively losing anything at all. So assess the situation before you panic. But one of the things you really don't want to do is, is rush to the emergency room and expect that the final result's going to happen there because it can't. It's usually not. It's, so to sum no. up, unless you are bleeding at a pad an hour for a couple of hours, that's when you should go to the emergency room. Absolutely. Otherwise, schedule with your doctor and get in ASAP. And the other for thing is, hours. sometimes people have these little bleeding episodes, and then all of a sudden they have a, a big one and they mm -hmm. panic and go. If you're having little bleeding episodes that are inappropriate, don't just sit on them. Get in with Talk your regular your doctor. doctor at a good time so right. that you don't wait to deplete your volume and create an emergency. Good, you know, good information. Act, act on what you got. Good information. Thank you so much, Dr. Slusher. If you have any questions for Dr. Slusher, of course, here's a number you. You can reach her office, the Harrisonburg OBGYN. We will be